What is up guys, it's Soulbash. We are back with some Tai Chi Panda and we have a quick announcement. They have a maintenance update they announced two days ago that is going to be on April 26th. Uh, you can check it out, I'll leave the link in the description below for it. It's about some uh, language relocalization text, uh, bug guild pet hiring rankings issues with completing 31 day check-in graphics. Also, they have some uh, achievement text issues they had. They're fixing pets in Chaos Battlefield and adjusting the cooldown on Fox Mage's fourth skill when using Skill Room. Now, there really hasn't been a whole lot of talk or anything with Tai Chi Panda in the almost past month since I believe it was the 24th of March that the last update was released. And since then, we've heard nothing about anything new. They had little patches here and there, but what is there to come? Now, I do know that they are planning on releasing over the next couple weeks some sneak peeks at the next update, but nothing has been released yet. So updating are, updates are starting to slow down quite a bit. Um, just I'm just very interested into seeing what they're going to be bringing out next with Tai Chi Panda because on the other hand, look what we have coming out in just what maybe two to three weeks next month, Tai Chi Panda Heroes which is the predecessor to the original Tai Chi Panda. And it's basically the same concept of any type of RPG, of course, upgrading armor, leveling characters up, you know, being the best that you could be. But in the sense that they are actually two completely different types of games. One, you're dungeon crawling by yourself. There's not much other interaction with other people except for team stuff. And those are limited to daily things. And to be honest, Tai Chi Panda, it's kind of gotten boring here lately. It's a bit monotonous to just log in and do the same thing at the same time on a daily basis. You know, a change helps in games. And as a longtime gamer myself, I've played games since I was very, very young, late 80s. Yes, I'm old. I know this. But. Over the transformation of times, you know, the games that I do play, I play them for very long periods of time. Uh, for instance, the first one I really got into that was online, I played steady for like five years and then continue to this day still on and off, I'll log in and play some of it. But the transformation from how the game started to where it is now, things have actually slowed down with it. Uh, there's, unless you're pumping a lot into it, there's not, a whole lot of progression at this point that you have uh, nothing's been really released for the mid-grade people uh, it's really all been top-end uh, targeted so what they were looking at with Tai Chi Panda Heroes though is the con concept of you're gonna be more interactive with your surroundings the other players you're gonna have to worry about people coming and taking your stuff killing your mobs on top of killing you it's gonna get frustrating very frustrating but this is the type of game that I've played pretty much since the early 2000s games like this it, they're interesting they keep you involved there's different stuff you can do daily and you don't always have to do the same stuff the same way there's always different routes you can take and this is just the base of it what's upcoming next from it it's not even released yet and it's so amazing that you can do the things that you can do with this game i mean compare the old team instances to the new team instances in tai chi panda the team instances were kind of just confined to one solid space where you just fight a rash of mobs and then a ball spawns the team instances from tai chi panda heroes when you get into them you're actually moving along with the whole party going through an instance sort of like a small dungeon except you're doing it with a party then you have your huge boss fight at the end so they're evolving as we go and of course you're going to have your fanboys obviously you're going to be so in love with tai chi panda that hey tai chi panda one that's going to be your thing you're going to love it you're not going to like tai chi panda heroes well we understand that you've invested into it you like the game obviously there's going to be a lot of people that are but there are going to be those people that are going to want to transfer over and experience something new from the company that's brought them so much enjoyment for over the past year and it's just looking forward to that for some people that gets them hyped up about new stuff and this game put them side by side even some of the boss fights that have changed look at for instance say the skeleton king and tai chi panda 
it's just your basic two-dimensional background and your your camera angles are basically the same there's no conception of any kind of change it just feels the same as everything else now get into what they've done with tai chi panda heroes look at this same boss right here the skeleton king and look at the concept and the way they throw you into fighting this type of boss it is a lot more fun and i can see these guys going a lot further with things like this to make gaming a lot better on mobile especially for the mmorpg type people now i love this type of stuff i hope they do a lot more with this and they've been actually experimenting with a lot of other stuff and it's kind of the reason i wanted to talk about this today too was to kind of get your opinion get your feedback on what you think is going to be the outcome of the next couple weeks having a possible new expansion coming out for tai chi panda and the global release of tai chi panda heroes which is sometime next month i still don't know a set date but i do know it is next month so if you're waiting for it it's it's coming guys it's it's gonna be next month i i don't have a set date but it's coming i promise you it's coming soon and like i said just leave me your input that's all i ask of you for this video guys let me know what you think about this are you gonna stick with tai chi panda are you going to tai chi panda heroes when it comes out are you just gonna try sticking with both of them and just casually play along uh tai chi panda heroes you can do things in shorter burst sessions uh it's quite different than the experience you had with tai chi panda so be prepared there's a lot of extra quests a lot of things you're not used to and it's actually fun uh there's quite a bit of content out on now so you can go through the channel and find some of the other videos on the characters and some of the gameplay we'll have some more of that coming out soon but thank you guys so much for watching this like i said all i want to know is your opinion so leave them in the comments below let me know what you think also you can leave me a big fat like if you did like this video and as always keep it locked right here i am soul bash like comment and subscribe you guys have a nice day